Today I'm going to review what I believe is the best tripod out there for beginners. And guess what? It costs less than 100 euros. Now I'm a finance guy, so let's talk numbers first. My initial goal was to buy a solid tripod, which is easy to use, it's versatile, within a 100 euro budget. For all my American friends, don't worry, I will put your prices and your metrics somewhere along this video. Now I do recommend you to search for something in the higher spectrum of this budget. However, if you're really tight on money, don't worry, because you my friends will be very glad to know that this tripod right now costs 50 euros, five zero, on the European Amazon. I actually paid 71 euros a few months back. Now stay until the end of this video to understand why I think this tripod is an absolute no-brainer of a purchase for us beginners. So let's look at the design. So it comes in two different colors. You have a purely black one and then you have this one with the orange highlights. As you can see, these orange highlights have this metallic look to it, which is here and then you have them on the bottom as well, these little small elements. Absolutely love this because it gives it a more premium look. In terms of the construction, this tripod is made out of aluminium magnesium alloy and it's nice and solid. I've been using it for a couple of months, taking them on different shoots. I've used it in different conditions and it's nice and sturdy. A very big plus for this tripod. However, it does have a few plastic and rubber pieces. So for instance, on the leg itself, you have these fold switches, I think that's how you call them, the knobs, the plate itself, and then here on the bottom where the leg connects to the base, around it you have also a plastic part. In terms of the rubber pieces, you have this rubber grip on this ring, so it's one here and one on the top, we'll get to that in the minute, and then also you have of course the legs themselves, this, the feet of the tripod, they're also made out of rubber so that it doesn't slide around. Now in its folded position, which is just like this, and this is how you're going to be carrying it in your carrying pouch, or bag which is included a very nice touch this tripod measures from one side to another 48 centimeters and it weighs only one and a half kgs so i can suspend it on my small finger absolutely no problem at all and this makes this tripod so light and so compact considering how tall it is speaking of how tall this thing is once you change it into a tripod mode so you basically flip these legs backwards the lowest height is 59 centimeters and it goes all the way up to 195 centimeters for me this is so so important because i am 191 centimeters so thanks to this tripod i can have the camera on my eye level so what I really love about this tripod is the fact that between its lowest and highest heights, you can literally put it at any height you want. It's all in your hands. And this is thanks to two different mechanisms. So first you obviously have your legs. So if you extend one, as you can see, you have these three different folds, switches, flips. I don't even know how to call them, but the idea is you just push one, it snaps out. You just lift your leg and just close it and that's it and it's nice and secure i absolutely love this feature and this mechanism because it's super easy fast and very secure same thing goes with the top ones you can just flip both of them raise close raise close super super fast and easy and as you can see there are three different levels of height adjustments on your legs alone now if the height of the legs is not enough for you don't worry there is a second mechanism which is located right on the stem of the tripod so you have these two different rings and both of them adjust the height as well so right now as you can see it's already extended and this one is thanks to this ring right here so this is how the stem has to be when you're folding it backwards to store it but if this is not enough height for you just flip this one and you can raise it even higher and just close it just like this also nice and sturdy you have this nice rubber grip here so even if you have greasy hands don't worry it just closes without a problem and look how tall this thing is even with just the first level of legs this is really big this is huge that's what she said <laughs> Now I do have to warn you that the more you extend your stem, the more shaky it can become if you have wind and you're using this outside. So of course I'll advise you to first always rely on your legs, then on the lower part of the stem and then of course the highest. However, if you're indoors, forget it. Anyone can use without a problem, there's no wind, all good. Now let's say that you're outside, it's a bit windy and you're worried that your tripod will tip over. Well. This tripod has you covered because at the base it actually has a little hook and this hook will allow you to hang 
a bag of potatoes, maybe a bag of rice, well, any type of weight of your choice to make this tripod a bit more stable. And the maximum payload that this tripod can withstand is roughly 8 to 10 kilograms with the camera included. Now let's finally turn this into a tripod. So in order to do this, all you have to do is just take your leg and just extend it fully upwards. And as you can see, it doesn't go any further. And this is because this switch hits into a ridge or one of the three ridges that you have on the leg itself and therefore it will not go anywhere further but it'll go backwards and it's nice and sturdy so you don't need to worry about anything and so you just do the same thing with all the other three legs and there you go you can already place your tripod now let's say that this is not enough you want to widen the stance to make it more stable no problem at all super easy just push your leg downwards press on the switch and then raise it up and then release it when you want so next ridge there we go. Now, if there's one thing I would mention about these switches themselves is that when the leg is locked in, everything feels sturdy, nothing is moving. However, if I release the leg, then these switches start wiggling around. When it comes to just feeling that or seeing that, it just doesn't feel really nicely built and it just feels like it's gonna fall off. But everything's fine. So I've been using this for a couple months, no problem at all, but I think it would be a nice improvement to see these things a little bit more fixed in place. Now let's take a closer look at the ball head itself. So overall the construction is metal, so you have this huge chunky piece of metal right here, so it's nice and sturdy with this very nice metallic look, gives it a bit of a premium feel. And then on the bottom you have this rigid looking disc. This disc allows you to easily unscrew and screw this head to the stem. Then we have a ruler. This one is useful if you want to make more calculated panning moves. Let's say you're doing a panorama and you want to move your camera exactly 180 degrees, so this ruler will help you to do this. Now speaking of panning, what you need to do is to release this knob and now your head will start panning. The cool thing is that it's so smooth that even if I push really hard or pull very fast, it gives me resistance, allowing for a very smooth experience. Absolutely love it considering that this is quite a cheap tripod. Now one downside is that you cannot smoothly tilt your camera, however I do have one trick that I think will be very useful for you. Place one of the legs right in front of you, release the flip lock and start pushing your tripod forward. As you do this, you'll feel tension as the legs will be contracting, allowing you to tilt in a more smoother fashion. Now, unfortunately, you cannot do the same thing with your upward movement. As I'm demonstrating, put the leg in between your toes and then start pulling upwards, and you'll get a smooth upward tilting motion. Now, next we have is this big knob right here. See what I did there? How convenient it is to just pan this head around to show you the product love this. Once you release this knob, then your ball becomes very free for movement. And what I really like is that actually here you have a nice little indentation and this one will allow you to position your DSLR camera or your phone in a portrait position and then you can just twist the knob backwards and now it's nice and locked in place, super sturdy, doesn't move around. That's fantastic. Here you have also a little bubble leveler, if that's how you call them. So if you're on an uneven terrain, this will help you to make sure that your camera is always leveled. Very nice little detail right there. Now you might be wondering, can I use a phone with this tripod? And the answer is yes, absolutely. But you will be needing an adapter that clips on on the phone itself and then it has a little screw hole inside. I'm sorry, I don't know how to call it in English. And basically it allows you to screw in this plate onto it and then it's the same thing as a camera, just pop it in, screw it in, and it's gonna be dead inside there, and then you could use it for your TikToks or Instagrams or whatever you're into. Now, let's see how versatile this tripod is. Firstly, of course, it's a tripod. However, if you want to, this can become a monopod. All you have to do is to unscrew the leg which has the foam padding on it and the head, put them both together and now we have a monopod for those nice steady camera movements. You can use it as a crane for those up and down shots and also you can use this as a boom mic. The third versatility trick is I can use this tripod to make overhead shots. Firstly, unscrew the hook from the stem of the tripod. Next, release the lower height adjustment ring and pull the stem out of the base. Flip the stem upside down and tighten it with the lower height adjustment ring. One item and three unique ways you can use this. Incredible. In fact, I can give you even a fourth one. 
In this state right here, just before you turned it into a tripod, you can use this as an upgraded monopod as well. And this is particularly useful if you have a heavier camera. This way the weight will be distributed between all the three legs. Just make sure you don't grip by anything that is very thin so that you avoid bending. So what's the verdict? In my opinion, this is a banger of a tripod. It's solid, it's easy to use, it's versatile, it's perfect for beginners to get to know how to use a tripod, how to use a monopod and how to make overhead shots. And once you know what you do with it, then you can go and upgrade to some more premium items. Or not, who knows, I'm pretty sure that if you look after this guy, it'll last you for years. Now if you want to learn more about this tripod, I will put links in the description below. Do check them out and if you decide to actually buy one, I will be grateful if you use my links as they are affiliate links and I will get a little percentage from your purchase. Let me know your thoughts about this tripod in the comment section below and let me know what is your favorite tripod and why. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Paka!